All right, folks, I just got some, some things on my mind uh, I want to talk about. Uh, toothbrushes. It is, they come in various sizes and everything like that. What really bugs me is that when I switch from toothbrushes to toothbrushes, I don't know what it is with it, but it, it's, it feels like a freaking push broom in my mouth. That just drives me nuts. Well, and, and other things, weather people. Why do weather people, like I could turn on a weather channel right now, or even a local weather channel, they'll predict the weather seven days out. You know, you ask them, hey, what's, what's it going to be eight days out? Oh, we can't do eight days, because that, that'd be ri ridiculous. We can't go out eight days. Well, you know, stinking seven days is pretty dang ridiculous, too. You can't even go six hours without changing a forecast. Why are you going out on seven days? A right-handed flushing urinal, or even a toilet. I've never seen one. They have the little buttons in the middle. They have the ones on the left. Never on the right side. Never seen a flushing toilet or a urinal like that, ever. And, uh... When I'm watching TV, did you ever notice I'm always, you know, more concerned with the people in the background? I'm always looking at the extras. You know, what are they talking about? What are they talking? You always see them. They never say no. They're always like, oh yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah. They're, they're eating and they're like, mm, yeah, you know. They never say no, no, no. Oh my God, or you know, slap the guy in the face or something. That's, that's what I'm waiting for. Another thing was, uh, was in a shopping center and you know how they they, they bring people bring these Amish people in a big band, the whole family of Amish people. I was in there and I I called. I call them hillbillies. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was the worst beating of my life. They chased me and they beat me bad, man. And then the men got to me. Let's say you have a British guy and he's in an, uh, an American bar and it's 2 o'clock and he calls l last call. Now, the people are going to be thinking that, you know, someone lost a piece of coal or something because like that. Wouldn't that sound like lost coal? Lost coal? They holds up a piece of coal. Scientists have did some research that a quick stroll on a beach will make you feel better. No kidding. You know, I wish I could be one of them scientists to say, oh, hey, um, you drink a six-pack of beer, you'll be feeling great. You know, and then just publish it on the news like it's something awesome. Like, we don't know this. Scientists, for the most part, are idiots that do research like this. I want to make, you know, you got insurance for your car, you got insurance for stuff in your house. I want to make blinker insurance for your car, your blinker. Have you ever heard anybody, their blinker breaking? That would be like, you'd, you'd make so much freaking money on it. Just, I mean, if it was like a dollar a year. Blinker insurance. Just think how many people would say, oh, blinker insurance. Hey, a blinker might just go wrong. It might break off the damn steering wheel or something. Blinker insurance. That's a hot item. I don't understand this. Bigfoot. What, is it, does he have one big ass foot? Why don't they call him Big Feet? I've never seen a one track in the woods, and then a small track, and then a big track, and a small track. It should be Big Feet. You know, hey, I've seen, seen Big Feet today. Really? Who came up with Bigfoot? One big ass foot.